Okay, it's Saturday afternoon. I'm over at the Lock Keeper on the River Avon. Today's the day. Today's the day I'm going to catch a pike. It has to happen today. I've had three blanks and yeah, I've got four hours ahead of me and I'm feeling really, really positive. It's going to happen today. So let's see what I've got. Right, we're fishing. So I've got both the rods in this margin to the right of me where something just leapt out. Whether or not it's a pike, I do not know, but that gives me kind of hope. Um, yeah, I'm literally getting about 10 minutes here because the flow really narrows down here and it's just hacking through. I had a cast to the other side and it just swept through to the middle within four seconds. It's kind of semi pointless. So yeah, I'm going to give the rods 10 minutes here. shift on. Um, I've got kind of five or so swims that I know of going further up the river. So at the moment I'm just going to sit here in the sunshine because it is absolutely fantastic. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Gotta get a bike today. Gotta do it. There's my preferred spot over there. It's such a pikey looking little swim over there. Shaded, it's right next to that tree. And I just cannot get a bait in it. Such a shame. done one of two things. I've scared every single fish for about <laughs> the entire strength stretch of the river. And waves and all sorts coming in here. Yeah, I think that might have killed it for the swim. For a big long walk across the fields, mainly to see if there's anything further on. The river gets, should we say, narrower and faster. Um, I did try one swim and got really annoyed because although I found a nice eddy to cast into, I just got snagged, which is really annoying. So, back opposite the soap works. Down the margin here, I've got another rod out on the float in this eddy just next to this tree. Um, the wind is obviously causing me a few problems because it's just dragging everything out of position if it's there for longer than 30 seconds but what the hell I'm, I'm gonna set a clock I'm gonna do 10 minutes here and then I'm gonna do something else <laughs> oh I just, I just so desperately want to fish um, I'm toying with the idea of spending the last kind of 40 minutes in the cup and um, seeing if I can winkle one out of there but for the meantime float down there one in the margin I'm gonna have some hot chocolate see what's what 
It's been a long time coming. <laughs> Finally got one. Finally got one. Ah, oh, so good. It's brilliant. It's just packing up the gear. Had the uh, ledger rod I repositioned just in front of this tree over here. And yeah, it's great. Be, 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 just start ring. Wallop straight into it. Nice short fight. And it's in. It's in the net. I don't think it's a huge one, but it's a pipe. <laughs> Finally got one. Good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. What is that? That is a pike. I thought it might be. Do you have to put those back? Oh yeah. Yeah. Everything goes back. But yeah, this one's a little one. He's not. No. But he's I... incredibly welcome. I've had a succession of blanks, so oh, I am very overjoyed to get this one. Don't forget to take a picture of me. I won't. <laughs> He's desperate to take a chunk out of my hand, this one. Keep still. <sighs> at last, after so many blanks, a fish. Oh, he's only a little -y. Not a huge one, but nevertheless, pike in the net. Oh, I'm so happy, so, so happy. <laughs> very, very happy to have caught that one. Too good. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Well, we're beginning to lose the light now, so I hacked it back to the first swim that you get to on the weir boom. Um, got my last two baits out. It's interesting. Just had a, a succession of beats on that one. I don't know, it might be an eel mucking around, I don't know. But yeah, the light's beginning to go. I'm gonna have two more flicks with each rod fishing in this gap out here. It's a pretty obvious spot, I guess. Um, so yeah, I've got one, one to the left of the boom, and one down this side. But yeah, I'm gonna have a recast of the right-hand rod, because that's been out the longest. And then probably give it 10 minutes and then pack down. Oh, now I'm getting knocks and taps on both. <sighs> both alarms flashing away. So yeah, you never know, you might see me with another pike in my hands in five minutes time, but if not, Thanks for watching. I'm so glad that wasn't a blank. I feel like I'm back on it. And um, yeah, see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.